Hey guys, welcome to Neutrino's YouTube channel. So, what is your way of killing boredom in this lockdown? Mine definitely is writing. I am Rinmay and I would like to present before you an article that I have written. A vacation unlike any other. A stressful exam season ends in April and embarks our transition to a fun-filled, exciting vacation season. This year, we students indeed got lucky. Rather than following the exam end, our vacations actually preceded it. It started as a two-day holiday to college and class and has been prolonging ever since. Presently studying for NEET, I seldom get a day off. A long vacation to me is but a dream. But if Charlie could get the chocolate coupon, I could get a vacation too. I was overwhelmed by the fact that I had a chance to exit the interface and finally enter the temporary but quiescent phase in my life cell cycle. Traces of my intense study can be seen in the above sentence. The happiness caused by this holiday blinded my eyes, covering my sight regarding the social conditions. First two days went into relaxation, covering up for all the sleep deprived nights. But then the situation around the globe and even in India intensified and it did not take long for the two day holiday to turn into an end unknown vacation. By this time, I was out of my sleep cocoon. I had started perceiving the growing intensity of COVID-19 situation, the actual reason for my vacation. On the other hand, my holiday time was constantly being audited by the papers we were meant to solve online. And I can see myself in the near future attending online lectures. Despite of all the negation regarding studies and stuff, I act, I'm actually looking forward to the online lectures and I'm already missing my tedious routine. The silver lining in this life-threatening condition was that it brought families together, in my case at least. After a lot of days, our dining table saw the whole family sitting together and having meals at an appropriate time. I discovered that bhindi chibhaji that I have been loathing my entire life actually tastes nice when served hot. All the maids not coming deserted into our family being made for each other. Get the pun? Jokes apart, but we started cooking, washing utensils, cleaning the floor, arranging cupboards and what not. Mom also tried to teach me cooking chapatis, which I would call a total mess. After all the course, was movie time. We literally watched a new movie every day. The board games also felt alive after being dusted and used after a very long time. Cards, Connect 4, Cluedo, Categories, Carom, Monopoly, Scotland Yard and others became an integral part of life. And of course, Netflix, Instagram, Snapchat, Zoom were always there to save the day, as they always are. Another interesting thing that happened at my place was the recitation of Ram Raksha at twilight. Not being orthodox, but it really created a very positive vibe. Anyways, I don't want to babble about my daily duty. I want to tell you how I felt about it. So, I was saying, the first few days were really fun. But later I realized it was just the silence before the storm. The lazy mornings became a mood killer and boredom began to reign. My mother, too, was out of new recipes and more importantly, the grocery stores were out of grocery to cook any of those recipes. Another difficult thing was to follow not meeting anyone. It's funny how we take meeting people for granted. At times, the introvert inside us kicks in and we feel like being all alone. When we get angry, we wish to completely isolate ourselves from the cruel world. And at times, we also do that. Ha! Huh, isolation. What an insignificant word it was till Corona kicked in. Now, we are even terrified of that word. Now, we understand the value of the people around us, our help, our staff, our school system, our playgrounds and sports lessons, our doctors, 
and most importantly, our internet service providers. Just kidding, doctors are more important. Thus, in conclusion, this time of my life was a total unique time of my life that I will never forget and secretly hope that it will never come again. Not only for me, but for everyone around me, it was an eye-opener. A 180 degree change in lifestyle resulting into a 180 degree change in habits. It was a unique and amazing in its own way type of experience that got me both extremely excited and utterly bored at the same time. Thanks for lending in here. Postscript. If you found this a little me-centered, it kind of was. I know that there is more to this topic than just sitting at home, getting bored and having fun. But there are other people who will surely address those things better than me. So, if you found this a little inward looking, you totally get my writing. Because that is what it was meant to be. Thank you. If you really like this, please do share and push on the bell icon and subscribe. Thank you.